Hi everybody, it's Carol at Angels Sewing and Quilting. And today I'm gonna to bring you a demo on how to um, put Steam Seam 2 onto your fabric for uh, a Laura Heine class. Um, okay, so where, it, oh, there we are. All right, so let's say, now the one thing also that you is is really important. You know, Lori and I went out to Billings um, about a month ago, and we got certified to be a Laura Heine uh, teacher, and we had a great time. Oh my gosh, it was really really fun. Um, and the one big thing that we learned was using the correct steam seam. I had had I have steam seam in the store, and we were using the wrong ones. Like I had just done a couple of them before I went. A couple of us kind of dabbled in it just a little bit. So you want the steam seam too. Um, you don't want it to say light, which that's what we had in the store. We do still have some light in the store, but just when you are doing a Laura Heine um, collage pattern, you definitely want to use the one that does not say light. And what that means, basically, the light means that it is not permanent. Um, it's temporary. Uh, the steam seam too is, uh, is permanent. Once you steam that, it is not going anywhere. So I, I have these visions. I have my bunny rabbit up there hanging out out in the um, out on the floor, and I keep having these visions that it, all of his material is going to start coming off of him soon. So anyway, so we want to start with steam seam two. I really and I've been doing a lot of these at home, and um, I really like the um, twelve inch width. Uh, it just it kind of it works well. Uh, I can you know pretty much sit at my sewing table and I'm able to, to just do this, you know? So anyway, I'm gonna change the camera view so you can see, you know, down on, uh, on my steam seam and how I'm going to, how we're gonna do this. Uh, so here we go. All right, so there it, yeah, put that up just a little bit. There we go. All right, so when you pull it out of the box, it has the paper on top. So you want down, you want the grid side. Um, on mine, it is, um, it, it's yellow. So you just want that down. And then you're just going to peel away. And what I do when I'm peeling it, see how I kind of am folding it like this? Because this side of the, of the paper is sticky. So it just, um, just some little tips as I've been doing it. I, Because at first I had it like, all over the place and I was getting sticky all over my hands and I'm like, oh my gosh. So I just have kind of figured out a, a little bit of a way to, to make it a little less messy. So let's just pretend that these are my pieces. Uh, and, and, you know, I picked small ones just because um, it was just easier, easier to show in a demo, but it's the same thing when you have, you know, bigger pieces. So you basically want to, oh, that's a petite, so it's fine on either way. So you want to like, Butt it right up, okay, just like that. You're you're basically just making like a like that. They don't need to have spaces in between, and you don't really want them to overlap. Um, so you just want to put them right next to each other, because what we're going to do is, and you know what, I am going to get a couple more pieces of material just so. See how over here I do have some of the edges right there, but we're gonna um, rotary cut that off. Uh, let me just get maybe a little bit of a bigger. No, that's not big. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry. This this makes it real because you know I don't have this. Uh, I don't practice this. I just kind of. Um, oh gosh, I can't. I can't find a bigger one. Actually, I can. Here we go. There we go. But I think you're getting the gist of what I'm trying to do. Here is a bigger piece right here. So there we go. So now we will take this. I'm gonna I'm gonna butt it right down here. And I mean, if it you know, like if you don't put them on perfectly straight and it does overlap on one, it, it's really not a big deal. I just say that because you know you don't want to always overlap them because then you'll just be wasting, um, you know, some of your steam seam. So when you're doing like one of the big collages and you have, um, you know, you have your uh, material all, you know, your pieces of material, um, 
you will, you, you'll fill like all these up. So we're just gonna, let's say that this is like a whatever's, this is probably um, just about how many um, material, maybe a couple more small ones for, you know, different colors for like a whatever. So here we go, we've got that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this. I'm just using my, my rotary cutter. I just want to get it away from, I just want to get it away from the box. So there we go. So now, all right. So now we have this just like this, but you see all of the, um, I mean, for, for, for demo purposes, let's just pretend that this, this space is, there's a couple more, you know, pieces of, um, of material there. So now basically I'm going to change my camera view again. So now what we're going to do, we're going to cut away all of, right now I'm just trying to maybe save some of this steam seam here. The whole idea right now is to cut your pieces, all right, and not have, like, what I do, I do this first. I just, I kind of just cut it away like this. All right, just like that. And actually, I forgot my ruler. All right, so now I'm going to use my ruler. And you see, I'm um, I'm hoping you can see that. I am really close, like. You don't want to have any of the sticky on your material. So just like pretty much barely cutting a little sliver off. And I pretty much do this on all four sides of, I don't know why this isn't cooperating with me. Okay, here we go. I do it on all four sides. You know when you're just not in your own space and it's, you know, just a little different. There we go. So this, so you want to end with all of these like this. Okay. Now we want to, and, and, you know, it doesn't really matter if you, um, you can press them when they're all together on here. Just make sure you remember to use a, um, an applique, a press pressing sheet, um, so that you don't ruin your iron and you don't ruin, um, you know, uh, your, your surfaces. Uh, so you just want to make sure that, you know, you use the pressing sheet, which is why we, um, you know, you cut around and get rid of all of the, um, all of the stickiness. So now I'm going to put it on my, I'm going to change the view again. There we go. I'm going to put this on my, um, and I still use this just to protect to protect my iron. Um, and when you put this on, don't, you know, keep it on. It's a good, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds or so. And you're going to know when it's ready because when you go to peel it off, and we're not going to do that right now because it's hot. We don't want to do it when it's hot. But when you, um, so, so basically, let me just um, recap all this. So as you take out your steam seam, uh, as you take out your steam seam, you're going to put all your pieces onto your steam seam. Um, and, and like I said, you can put a pressing sheet over it and, um, and press it then, you know, do it one side and then the other side. Again, you know, pressing sheet so you don't ruin your iron. Um, and then, uh, then you can cut them all out. And then when you cut them, you know, with a rotary cutter, I, um, I'll go around and cut just to make sure that there's no stickiness showing at all. So this one is, is, you know, done. Um, when you go to peel it, all right, you're going to peel it. And when it peels, you're going, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this better here, but as you start peeling it, you just want to make sure that the stickiness now is transferred to your material and not on the paper 
Now, if you are having a hard time peeling it, it's usually because you need to give it another little, um, just bring it back to the iron and just have it sit on it um, for a little bit and it'll be fine. It will be fine. And the great thing about, um, the great thing about steam seam too is it's repositionable, which, you know, for doing the Laura Heine um, pattern is really important because, you know, if you're sitting there and you're putting, let's say you, you know, you take a flower and you put it somewhere and then you put something else somewhere, somewhere else and you want to move them, they're repositionable. So you can take them up. You only, when you are totally, you know, this is it, that's when you steam it. And that makes the steam seam permanent. Um, so that's that. This is um, that's my demo on um, the Laura Heine technique, putting uh, applying steam seam to to your material. Um, I hope you sign up for a class. They they're I mean people are just loving it. I know I am addicted to the Laura Heine patterns. Um, I'm just having so much fun doing them. Um, if you ever have any questions, of course you can always call the store or when you're here, um, ask to see a, a little demo in this. That's not a problem at all. Um, and I hope to see somebody in, uh, you know, one of our classes. Go to angelsewing.com and you can find all that info there. Thank you so much. Have a great day.